Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So news has come out about Robert Pattinson uh, kind of openly discussing who he thinks will be the villain in the next film. It's not really an open discussion, I shouldn't have said that. He's more so hinted at who the villain will be in the next movie. And while everyone thought it would be the Joker, because obviously the post credit scene of the Batman hinted at the fact that Joker's a part of it, Robert Pattinson has said otherwise. He said... Night of Owls. And I think this is a really cool way for them to go with this because we've seen the Joker time and time again. And while, of course, Jack Nicholson was great, Heath Ledger was really great, and Joaquin Phoenix recently was also great, I do think it's time for a change-up. And if they were to bring in a new Joker and it wasn't Joaquin Phoenix, then it's just a whole new Joker two years after the fact of the last one. Like, it's just too much. And I think it's a good way for them to go by having a different villain. I think that's really, really smart. Of course, the first one had um, the Riddler, who was in one other film, I think, with Val Kilmer. And so it's sort of like a throwback, and we all know that villain really well. But then for the next one, okay, let's change it up. Let's spice things up a little bit. And I think Night of Owls is that. I think if you read the comic, or the comics, you're going to know all about Night of Owls and everything. But if you're not, which is most people out there, if all you do is see the Batman villains from the films, then to have Night of Owls in there as the villain will be super cool and super fresh. It sort of reminds me of how in Dark Knight Rises, the villain was Bane. And a lot of people out there who didn't read the comics and just watched the films, it was something new, something fresh, and they really enjoyed having a villain like that. You know, something that you're not going to think of. And I don't think Night of Owls was anyone's first, second, third, or fourth choice for villain. And I kind of like that. I guess it's kind of a way for them to go and take it in a new direction, which the first Batman did. You know, it was so different to any other Batman that we've ever seen. And I think they have to take it in a new direction in order for people to really enjoy it. It's like how with Tom Holland and his recent Spider-Man stint, it was so different to the way that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man was or Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man was that we all enjoyed it much more because it was something fresh. And I think... When you take something that we all know and love and a story we all love and give it a new spin and give it something new, give it something fresh, we enjoy it because it gives us both something we know that we've already sort of committed to emotionally and also gives us a new experience to something that we've committed to emotionally and I think it just makes for a better film. So what are your thoughts on him being the next villain? Do you think it's a good way for them to go, for Matt Reeves to go with his Batman films? Do you want to see the sequel? And do you want to see another trilogy or four or five movies? Uh, what are your thoughts on this whole sort of Batman saga and how do you think it's going to pan out? And what do you think of Night of Owls as a villain? I'm super interested. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any thoughts, please leave it in the comment section. If you like this video, please smash the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate all the support from you guys. So once again, thank you and I'll see you guys on my next video.